Hey guys, what is going on? This is the Spartan, and today I'm doing something different than what I usually do. Today I'm doing a high rank unit review or a maxed out unit review, where I and this is a, I guess a new series, and I'm gonna start most likely a mini series because there's only so many units that are actually worth ranking up to six. So basically, in this, I'm going to take max rank units and re-review them, basically. So today we are doing rank nine sand legendary sandworms this is and this is possible from a member of bna Tr truck and knobs 23 thank you again my friend you've been here before and you're helping me again so he left me some bosses to kill with the rank nine leg sandworms so we're gonna start with the construct i have the goliath tank to do right after this so yeah Rank 9 Legendary Sandworms, the major thing you need to know about these guys, almost 1000 health, they're just extreme, just, they're already extremely powerful, now they're even stronger. So, let's get to the fight, and since this is the construct, I'm not gonna worry too much, I'm most likely, you're gonna win this easily, without any trouble at all, so... Yeah, but as you can see that they have extreme. Once again, they have ex these units have extremely high health, and as they are maxed out, they are dealing more damage than they normally do. They basically become one of the strongest units in the game. Well, um, well, they already sort of were since they are one of the few units no I think they are the only unit that can kill the ancient sentinel with no losses all by itself so yeah you're taking basically the most overpowered thing and just giving it even more power so that was the construct no loss easy battle as if the construct wasn't easy enough already and let's go to the goliath tank now so the goliath tank i think i lost one sandworm fighting this thing before uh... still nothing and my sandworms are a lower rank than this so yeah anyway goliath tank you want to use this attack just because it does it just because it's crits hit really hard and yeah, that's about it. The body slam, I think it's called, or just regular slam, is just really good on vehicles. The crits are awesome. And of course, there's always the explosive attack if you want to in case you want to light some things on fire and such. And it doesn't do bad damage either. Right now the Goliath tank seems to be really just going for this one sandworm in particular for some reason. I'm not sure why. The AI in this game is rather weird. Just over 200 damage. So, as if the sandworm wasn't ridiculously powerful enough already. <laughs> so, I'll go through the stats at the end like I usually do. So... I think I went through them in the beginning once that kind of screwed up my screwed up the flow of the video and again I th there really just isn't much to say about it these this unit is just practically one of practically the strongest unit in the game besides the fact that it can be frozen but that's literally only one weakness it is a major one I will say because Melee frags have ov easily over 1,000 health, 1,160 1, to be exact, I think, at rank 6. And if you freeze them, they become extremely easy to kill. I've done it multiple times myself. As you probably saw in some of my previous videos. So, again extremely powerful unit at rank 9 it's even more powerful i mean i don't know if i don't know if there's sh a unit this powerful should even exist well it should exist but and the limitation on it sort of does nerf it so just imagine facing 13 of these guys at the same time 
that would be ridiculous. It's need a you'd need a few rank six elemental troopers just to freeze them all. All right. So that was that, and now since I know that I'm probably gonna win this, so let's just go through a random some random rebels, just to see how fast I could beat them. Um, I'm not trying to rush the video or anything, um, but these units just tear through everything so quickly. It's it's hard to make it any longer. Basically, uh, let's use this attack because I never use it. Still great damage. Not that I was expecting anything less. And let's see, hit it one more time like this. Now I can just focus on this side with these attacks. And yeah. And okay, that's done. Now just one hit here. And I'll do one more. Just because mem BNA members like to keep their bases clear. So I'll do that. Oh yeah, another thing. Um, since some of, a lot of you guys have been asking me about my guild and if you can join and such, um, this guild isn't mine. I'm in BNA, as you probably know. I do not own the guild, so I'm thinking that maybe I could talk about it with the actual leader. Maybe I could get some. Maybe I could actually get some some of you guys in, since I am a member myself. So. The minimum requirement is at least 300k. That's when we that's when we start getting interested in you. Um, but if you're applying, then um, I'm just gonna tell you to do what. <clears throat> then friend, then f you're gonna need to friend. What's his powder XX? I'll put his name in the description. And make sure to have a few screenshots of your boss strike performance of like the last three strikes. Um, the higher the better, obviously. And have screenshots of the amount of units you have in your army. That's pretty important. Just the numbers of units that you have. And yeah. That's all. That's about all I can tell you. And if you want to join, then go right ahead. There's space open. We made a third guild. So anyway, let's get through the stats. So the legendary sandworm has 610. Is this one is maxed out? It has 610 hit points, 380 armor, 55 bravery, 55 defense. It's a blocking unit. Bonuses to everything. It resists 45% of explosive damage. Damage 38% of piercing damage, 25% of cold damage, 90% of fire damage, and 50% of crushing damage on its base, which is its health. And its armor resists 55% of explosive damage, 70% of piercing damage, 50% of cold damage, 100% of fire damage, and 75% of crushing damage. Its weapons have infinite ammo. The Molten Core Magma Breath does 151 to 226 fire damage for cooldown of 6, 1 ammo used, 1 to 4 range, precise line of fire, 96 offense, 35% base crit, 80% crit versus tank, 20% armor piercing, and a fire DOT of 100% to lay a unit for two. And a 100% chance to light a unit on fire, doing 94 to 19 damage for the next 5 turns. The Maul does 184 to 252 times 2 piercing damage, with a cooldown of 3, 1 MOU, used, 1 to 3 range of precise line of fire, 96 offense, 30% base crit, 55% crit versus soldier, and 50% armor piercing. 
The slam does 218 to 403 crushing damage for cooldown of 4, 1 ammo use, went to 2 range. A direct line of fire, 96 offense, 38% base crit, 73% curse versus vehicle, 118% curse versus defense, and 15% armor piercing. And the final attack, the Magma Eruption, does 189 to 315 explosive damage from a prep time of 2, cooldown of 9, 1 ammo used, 1 to 5 range, an indirect line of fire, 101 offense, 45% base crit, 70% crit versus vehicle, 95% crit versus defense, 20% armor piercing, and a chance to light a target on fire, and a 50% chance to light a target on fire, dealing 126 to 42 damage for the next 3 turns. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is the Spartan. Goodbye, and thanks ag and thank you again to Trokanobs123. And goodbye.